Hello guys, my name is Alessia and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we continue watching The Big Bang Theory season 7. So guys, what happened in the previous episode is that Sheldon had a little crisis as he started questioning if he chose the right theory to try to solve it, try to figure out. He spent, I think he said like 20 years, I think, on the string theory and he had no progress and he decided to change the field and it was so freaking funny at the end because he was saying that geology is not a real science and at the end he woke up <laughs> with geology book I was like oh my god they hear some juicy stuff yeah it just you know a little low moment I guess and I think he will understand that string theory is just like his thing so he will come back to it but who knows what's gonna happen so that's what we have to find out so let's talk in guys let's get started so we're about to shoot this scene in the movie where the killer ape DNA is slowly taking over my body but I realize they're gluing fur everywhere except my cleavage I asked the director <laughs> why and he says it's important to the story that my boobs be the last things to turn ape I'm not sure there's if it's a, a good choice <laughs> In your professional opinion, which of these areas do you think is the most promising? Oh, well, uh, I think there's some really innovative stuff going on in dark matter. <laughs> <laughs> You're never gonna trust okay, you these to choose four the areas. Then, what did we say about being a nicer friend? Thank you. And he's just so frustrating. You're trying too hard. You need to do something else. Get your mind off it. Hey, how yeah, about that's a good we bring idea. back anything can happen Thursdays? Hey, that's good. Why'd you guys stop doing that? You made fun of us, said I was stupid. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like me. All right, I officially reinstate anything can happen Thursday. Great, what, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? I don't know, what do you want to do? Starting to remember the problem with anything can happen Thursdays. <laughs> what could we do that's fun? What could we do that's Nothing. <laughs> Do that. Spend, spend your day in bed. There's a live action role playing group that meets every Thursday night in Griffith Park and reenacts battles from Lord of the Rings. Okay, tell me more about this calzone idea. <laughs> so let, let's go for a walk and, and, and see if we find a new restaurant. Any chance that restaurant is near Griffith Park? Filled with a ready ready. No. All right. I'm sorry. Should we call the girls and see if they want to come? No, Bernadette's working late. Amy's sick. Oh, what's wrong with her? Well, she talks a lot. She always wants to hold hands. <laughs> well, if you were referring to her illness, your question should have been what ails her. What ails her? Oh, who knows? <laughs> Some mysterious illness. Come on, anything can happen. We can push him down the stairs. Well, don't do that. How's your mom feeling? Okay, but well, she'd feel better if she took her medicine. You know, when Cinnamon won't take a medicine, I hide it in a piece of cheese. We can wrap the pill in cheese, feed it to Cinnamon, and then my mom can eat Cinnamon. <laughs> you feel what like going. I was to thinking go. we could watch a DVD. <laughs> my mom doesn't have a lot to choose from. Unless you want to watch the video of her colonoscopy. Actually, how do you feel about watching A House of a Thousand Corpses? Gore fest? You hate this stuff. I do, but for some reason, Emily loves it and wants to watch it with me tomorrow, so... I thought oh, if I yeah. saw it with you first, How's then I could act cool with about Emily it as well. going? Maybe it's uh, the one so for us. So you watch it? Sure. <sighs> You're a good friend. I owe you one. Alan, help me get out of the tub! <laughs> <laughs> Not that one. What the hell? <gasps> She's been working late. And uh -oh. Amy doesn't look sick. Oh. Why would they lie to us? Good question. They're just hanging out together. Amy and Bernadette. Amy and Bernadette. <laughs> Why did you lie to us? Cannibalism and satanic rituals are just a few of the thousand plus horrors that await. I just helped my Bro. mom out of the tub, so I'm one slippery horror Sounds ahead of you. Sounds like not my type of movie. All right, let's get this over with. Ew, it's got someone's hair on it. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna do great with this movie. I'm not working late, why did you lie to me? And Amy, you told me you were sick, but you look just as pale and tired as always. <laughs> I'm sorry, for the I just needed a break from hearing you obsess about what to do after string theory. We kind of just wanted one night where we didn't have to hear about how miserable you are making this movie. I haven't been complaining that much about the movie. Have I? <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> Don't answer that. Maybe I need a break from all of you. Come on, Sheldon. We're gonna have anything can happen Thursday. You're gonna tell me all about your science stuff, and I'm gonna complain about my movie, and we're gonna support each other because that's what friends do. Okay. Because if I had to pick now, I'd probably go with Dark Matter. Shut up. <laughs> a little bit support, Penny. What's wrong? 
I don't understand my food. <laughs> Chinese noodles with Korean barbecue and a taco. <laughs> it's fusion. My mother would lock her car doors if she had to drive through this hodgepodge of ethnicity. Do you think I've been complaining too much about the movie? Not at all. You, but to be fair, when you talk, most of what you say sounds like wah, 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 closed. <laughs> Thanks, Sheldon. Hey, I don't understand why you're not upset with Amy. I am. But so much so that I'm gonna bring her here for dinner on our next date night. Good for Amy. <laughs> so, in the last 20 minutes, we've seen a crazy woman kissing a fetus in a jar. We've seen a guy cut in half and sewn to a fish. The bright oh, the, side, the girl loves horror the movies. <laughs> why does Emily like this stuff? Do you think there's something psychologically wrong with her? What difference does it make? What do you mean? Well, oh, come on, she can have a freezer. As long as she doesn't want to do that, and you'd still go out with good. Her. I feel so bad about lying to Sheldon. How am I going to make it up to him? I tell you what I do with Howard, but I don't think dressing up like a Catholic schoolgirl is going to work with Sheldon. <laughs> Did you lie to Howard about tonight? Of course. And you don't feel guilty about it? Between Penny's gorilla movie and Howard's gorilla mother, I had no choice. <laughs> Thankfully, Penny and I have a relationship based on honesty. <laughs> yeah. What? I don't lie to her. Oh, we know you don't lie to her. You said too much, Bernadette. Hey, maybe the answer to your career question is in one of these. There's only one cookie with something in the middle that solves life's problems, and that's an Oreo. <laughs> I bet it says something great. This is Asian fusion. Fine, I'll go. People turn to you for guidance and wisdom. Yeah, that's a good one. No, it's not. Turn to you for wisdom? You, clearly that cookie is mocking you. <laughs> you never hear that kind of sass from a Nutter Butter. I think you mocking the, you're the cookie. Dinner, I'll let that slide. Your warm and fun-loving nature delights those around you. Yep, oh, try again. <clears throat> <laughs> I guess it's a struggle to watch okay, this so, movie. Why can't I be in a relationship with a girl who likes the sound of music? Raj, you are the girl in the relationship who likes the sound of music. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> no, Bernie's working late. <gasps> really? It's gonna betray her. Thanks for telling me. What? I'm having sex with a Catholic schoolgirl tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I see our next stop. <laughs> <gasps> you can't be serious. Well, come I want to waste my time on nonsense. Be I call it Leonard. No, come on. Tonight we are trying new things. Oh, that's a lot of incense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honey, I'm still stuck at work. Really? And he said that? Okay, it's true. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'll put it on. <laughs> <laughs> She's still mad? Well, it doesn't seem like it. She got Sheldon to go to a psychic with her. He considers them not just mumbo jumbo, but extra jumbo mumbo jumbo. <laughs> Penny can be very persuasive. She's gotten me to do a lot of things I wouldn't normally do. Because she has sex with you. Yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does. Once in a while, I get a little jealous of how close Penny and Sheldon are. I mean, not in a romantic way. It's just she really has some sort of connection with him. Yeah, well, they're just vibing together. Other, what course, Sheldon so said, she they're dreamers. <laughs> so they still are. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad they're friends. I just wish he'd be that comfortable around me already. It took him a long time to get comfortable around me, too. What did you do? Something terrible in a former life, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta go, Penny ratted me out. FYI, she's getting you a watch for your birthday with money she took out of your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> well, surprise! I don't mean to be rude or discourteous, but before we begin, I'd just like to say that there is absolutely no scientific evidence to support clairvoyance of any kind. No insult intended, but you're a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> but yet you're still again, sitting no there. <laughs> I'm gonna pay her money. <laughs> okay, I just did. What was it? Oh, for God's sake, look, he's a physicist who's trying to figure out what his next field of study should be. For your information, I was asking her about the next Star Trek movie. <laughs> I can answer that one. I'll be bored. Imagine she's actually going to give him some idea on what to do. Spirit guides are telling me that there's a woman in your life you're having problems with. That's an easy guess. I'm clearly an annoying person. I have problems with both genders. <laughs> you clearly are. I'm seeing a specific woman that you're in a romantic relationship with. Oh, oh, here we go. Does she have dark hair? Yes, yes, your spirit guides are on fire! The majority of people have dark hair. 
Even you at one time. <laughs> you, know, you have difficulty being close with her. Oh, he does. He so does. What should he do? Be more open-minded. <laughs> he should give himself to this relationship. Once he does, all his other pursuits will come into focus. Amy is the key to your happiness. Exactly. Everything will fall into place once you commit to her. <laughs> Yeah, and I reserve this word for those rare instances when it's truly deserved. This is malarkey. <laughs> wow, he really struck a nerve. I've never heard him use the M word before. These kind of movies really aren't my thing, so last night I watched it just to see what I was getting myself into. Okay. And I have to be honest, I thought it was disturbing and weird, and it made me wonder what it says about someone who enjoys it. Why do you watch these things? Can I tell you something without you judging me? They kind of turn me on. And play. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Red flag is rising on the background. Hello? <laughs> well, I was just feeling so bad about lying to you the other night. I wanted to make it up to you. How do you propose to do that? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Unless you have gravity on Blu-ray under that skirt, I don't know where you're going with this. <laughs> Star Wars Day is rapidly approaching. We should finalize our plans. What is it, Star Wars Christmas? <laughs> no, don't be ridiculous. That's Wookiee Life Day. <laughs> Easy. It's not May the 5th, and it's not May the 3rd. Oh, is it May 4th, right? It's May the 4th. Be with you. Get it? May the fourth be with you. May the fourth be with you. Get it? Never seen Star oh, no, Wars, but I still know that. Hey, you got a second? Oh, yes. Sheldon, I, I've got some bad news. What oh. is it? I just read online that Arthur Jeffries passed away. Professor Proton is dead? <gasps> oh, it's the guy. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's cute. What are you doing? Trying to support you. you. Your yeah, heart might be in the right place, sad. but your head, chest, and arms certainly aren't. <laughs> anyway, the, the funeral's on Sunday. But that's Star Wars Day. Yeah. Of all the things about this that are sad, that might not be number one. You okay? I know he meant a lot to you. I'm fine. Oh, I like the guy. Change the raisin bread box. <laughs> Interesting boys and girls. After Aww. an hour meets, he spits up part of his meal that he can't digest in the form of a pellet. Is isn't that a hoot? <laughs> <laughs> I will just we'll be like right back after I that. fire my rider. Watching your old friend. Yes. Look at him, Amy. It's such a shame. Struck down in the prime of my life. Do you want me to go to the funeral with you? Oh, I'm not going to the funeral. All those people blowing their noses. I can't tell the sick from the sad. Mm. <laughs> I'll be at home celebrating Star Wars Day as planned. Are you sure you don't want to go say goodbye? Come Morning on, I think inevitable you should go. Is a complete waste of time. And watching a bunch of goofy space movies you've seen hundreds of times isn't? If we were in a physical relationship, you just lost sex tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Benny. Happy Star Wars Day. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can I make you breakfast? Admiral Agba's snack bar is open for business. No, thanks. Leonard and I are just going to the funeral. You sure? Not even coffee? We have R2 decaf. And if you're not in the mood for coffee, I can always make you a chai tea 3 po Oh, I get it. Like C3PO. What happened to me? <laughs> How do you know that, hey, Benny? Uh, being brainwashed. No, thank you. You're being so quiet. Are you upset? Or are you just rebooting? <laughs> Sweetie, are you sure you don't want to come with us to the funeral? Oh, I appreciate the offer, but Arthur is gone, and there's nothing I can do about it. Before you go, at least let me pack you some Attack of the Scones for the road. Oh, uh, like Attack of the Clones. We are leaving right now. <laughs> Arthur passing away was harder on Sheldon than he's ready to admit. Really hoping this will cheer him up. Although it might have been thoughtless of us to bake a Death Star cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it'll be a nice surprise for the boys. And Howie doesn't think I take his interest seriously, so hopefully this will keep him fooled for a while. This is pretty cool. You don't see too many spherical cakes. <gasps> I wonder why that is. I would be so upset. I've never been to a funeral before. Really? I just 
Never knew anyone that died. I had a pet pig when I was a kid. I mean, when he died, we didn't have a funeral. We had a barbecue. I didn't know him very well, but I still really liked him. Yeah, he's, he's a just, nice guy. Just gone. I know. I feel like I want to cry. Oh, that's that's fine. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> I can't do it with you staring at me. Sorry. <laughs> Too much pressure. Look, Arthur lived a full life. He inspired a lot of people. Sure, he, he was my childhood hero, but the fact that I got to work with him side by side before he died was... Aww. It's a gift. It was a gift. Thank you for being the emotional one in this relationship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're back. Yeah. Since we all agree episode one isn't our favorite, maybe we just skip it this time. You know, I, I heard this way of watching the movies called The Machete Order, where you watch episodes four and five, then skip episode one, watch two and three as a flashback, and then finish with six. Get rid of the trade route part. Then how would Palpatine get Chancellor Valorum kicked out of office? Yeah. How would he get himself elected? How? It was just a suggestion. Well, you know what else was just a suggestion? Why don't we change the Raisin Bran box? Hmm? <laughs> and you know who got hurt by that? Every single person who eats breakfast. Aww. Just I upset. This Professor Proton yeah. pretty hard. Should we try to console him? Or should we respect his privacy in this moment of grief? by staying here and watching the movie. That's what good friends would do. <laughs> well, at least without Sheldon here, we got to start with episode four. Mm, true. I do feel guilty about him. Me too. Maybe we should see how he's doing. But after the cantina scene. Well, obviously. <laughs> Aww. Look at Arthur, cracking up at a joke I told him. Aww. You never heard at that time. <laughs> Be healthy. I thought you were dead. I am. Oh, it, it, it's fantastic. <laughs> I mean, so wait, this is he's not actually that, like that dead, dead. He died just like for the series. In, I thought he in, actually in passed years. away. Oh, that's nice. Here. More of Arthur. I, I, don't know. I like I was, the guy. I was hoping I was going to haunt my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> You've come to me because you're my Obi-Wan. I'm, I'm not, I'm not familiar with that. Is, <laughs> is that an, an internet? <laughs> uh, you're dead, so I'm gonna let that slide. <laughs> After his physical demise, he comes to Luke Skywalker as his mentor in spirit form. Well, that, that clears that up. <laughs> you must be here to give me advice. No! Oh! <laughs> You're giving all ghosts. This is weird. Most most of my robes open in in the back. <laughs> what, what, is it? What, oh. what is this? What is oh, this? Uh, be careful with that. I forgot what this is. Oh. Laser? <laughs> the lightsaber. Jesus. Oh, neat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need a Band-Aid. <laughs> what did you think of your first funeral? Oh, I don't want to be a jerk, but it was kind of a bummer. When I die, you can rent a bounce house. I regret not saying yes when you asked me to marry you. Aww. What? I know that face. That's your proposed face. Well, I proposed twice. You proposed once, two to one. Oh, my, it's not a contest. I don't know what you're upset about. I'm the one who's losing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Would you feel so now Penny has to propose so once again. again. Yeah, I think I would. Okay, Leonard, will you marry me? It's not the right time. No, don't you dare. You reject me right now and tie things up. It's just such a big decision. I don't want to have any regrets. <laughs> Ooh, Did you ever watch Professor Proton good. when you were a kid? No, my dad controlled the TV, so unless someone was a Texas Ranger, Jake, or the Fat Man, we didn't see it. I never watched him either, but he seems to be the reason that Sheldon got interested in science. I got into science because I was always the smallest kid in school, so I thought if I became a scientist, I could invent a formula that made me taller. <laughs> oh, that's, that's cute. cute. Oh, I guess it must have been back when I was in the Girl Sprouts. Girl Sprouts? My mom made it up as an alternative to the Girl Scouts. She didn't want me selling cookies on some street corner like a whore. <laughs> <laughs> that's mean. How did that get you into science? Oh, I went to the library and took out a book on biology to see what whores did. There's so many different ways. <laughs> is, is 
isn't funny anymore. Just say no so we're done with this. Will you marry me or not? Ooh, interesting. Did you just propose to me again? <sighs> really? Because I just heard, will you marry me? That's two proposals one day. You're on fire. Sounds like someone wants to spend the rest of her life telling people how to spell the name Hofstetter. Penny, don't get upset. Here, I love you. But no, I will not marry you. Thank you. Now about that second proposal. I'm the one. <laughs> where, where, where are we? <laughs> this is the swampland of Dagobah. It's where Luke was trained in the ways of the Jedi. When Obi Wan came to Luke on this very spot, he gave him all sorts of helpful advice. So, um, what do you got for me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, his cute smile. Come, I got. Get, get a prenup. I thought there'd be more of a reason why you're here. Why, why do you think I'm here? I suppose it has something to do with your recent passing. Is, is this the, the first time you've lost, you know, someone close to you? Oh, no. Of course, my grandfather died when I was five. My father died when I was 14. And now you're gone, too. Aww. It's like all the men I've looked up to have gone away. Oh, now we're gonna you cry. Know, it's, it's okay to, to be sad about them. Just, just make sure you know you appreciate those who, who are still there for you. Yeah. What am I doing in the swamp? <laughs> just comfort place for Sheldon. For, appreciate them, Sheldon. Aww. Hey, buddy. Heard you're having a rough day. All right. How was the funeral? A lot of people showed up. Told some great stories about him. Did you know that Arthur's son is a high school son? Oh, I'm not sure if it's my illness or <laughs> oh, my tears. <laughs> hey, the guys are about to start Jedi. You want to go watch? I do. Oh, so cute. After I make them go back and watch one through five first. <laughs> the appreciation Show moment that, is that over. That'll take us all night. That's true. Oh, it's a good thing I had a nap. <laughs> hey, guys. Happy Star Wars Day. Oh. <laughs> Star cake. Yeah, we were hoping it might cheer you up. And even though it meant we had to miss the movies, we could still be part of the fun. No, you didn't miss anything. We just started over. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Aww. You're back. Are you gonna yeah, say final goodbye? You, I'm here whenever, when, whenever you need me. That's oh. nice. You you fell asleep watching Star Wars, and now you're, you're dreaming. You're watching Star Wars. I mean, don't, don't you see a problem there? I mean, how, how you're spending your limited time on Earth? Not at all. Okay, good luck to you. <laughs> see ya. Nice. So guys, this was so freaking cute and I'm a bit upset that Arthur passed away and for a second I thought that he actually passed away, you know, like in real life, but they, I guess, made it just for the series. It would have been funny if Arthur gonna come to Sheldon sometime in the future as a mentor, as he said, just, oh, so nice. But you could clearly see that Arthur affected Sheldon's life a lot, him going into science and looking up for him. It's really nice, it's really nice, and I'm glad that he it affected him, we all can see that. And at the end it was so freaking cute when he said, I appreciate someone who is still around there. Oh, that's just oh, broke me when he hugged Leonard, that's just so sweet, so sweet. No matter what Sheldon says or does, he still loves all of his friends and everyone who is around him. So nice, I love Sheldon! Oh, an episode about the fortune teller, it wouldn't be funny whatever the lady said, what she said something about like contribute to Amy more and what if it's gonna turn out to be true like sometime in the future he gonna spend more time with Amy and Amy gonna come up with the idea of something that will change Sheldon's perspective on science <laughs> who knows and and then it means fortune teller said the truth <laughs> she saw the future but i'm sure it was not gonna happen but it would have been funny so yeah this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this reaction please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and share it with your friends and don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love and i'll see you in the next video bye guys